Joining us now, a Democrat who serves on the House committee that interviewed the president's brother today, Congressman Jared Moskowitz of Florida. Congressman, thanks so much for joining us. You just heard Chairman Jim Jordan say this revelation doesn't change the accusations in their impeachment probe of President Biden. How do you respond to that? Well, thanks, Well, Thanks for having me. Well, first of all, the magical 1023 form, right, 1023, which apparently also happens to be the same combination that James Comer has on his luggage, right? The information in that form, it's all, all made up. It was all a lie, right? Uh, and in fact, it was information that was passed to the informant from Russian intelligence. Now, by the way, this is the second informant that James Comer and company has relied on that has also been indicted. This is the second informant that they've used that has been indicted. The first one, let's not forget, right, was doing was a Chinese foreign agent uh, that was doing business with the Iranians and, and the Libyans. And so, look, the fact that they're being honest, I appreciate. They're coming and saying, Wolf, that this doesn't change anything. You know why it doesn't change anything? Because it doesn't, it never had to be true. They don't care that it's true. They wanted it to be true so bad that they birthed it, okay? They, they wanted to make this the Garden of Eden of the impeachment process uh, into, into Joe Biden, this $5 million that there really was never any corroborating evidence. But the Russian, intelli Russian intelligence wanted to find useful idiots in Congress. And you know what? The American people already know this. They found them. They found them. They put it out there. Hundreds of interviews they did on television and in newspapers and on podcasts for six or seven months talking about this. And it was all fake. It was all false. The impeachment inquiry should end, period. Your Democratic colleague, uh, Congressman Dan Goldman, says if the House GOP continues their impeachment inquiry in light of this latest revelation, then they are doing the work of Putin. Do you agree? Well, well, first of all, let's let's tell the American people the truth. They don't have the votes. They don't have the votes. First of all, they don't have the votes because there's no evidence. Second of all, they don't have the votes because their own members don't want to vote for this. So they're never going to have a vote. James Comer almost admitted that a couple of days ago. So this is all a PR stunt in order to try to spread disinformation, some of it from the Russians, some of it from former former Chinese foreign agents, to the American people. Yes, to do the bidding of other countries, okay, in order to try to bring the, the president's poll numbers down based on false information. And so, look, I agree with my colleague Dan Goldman, right? If they continue to move this forward, uh, then it's clearly they're doing the business of, of, of foreign countries. But you know what, Wolf? They don't care. And they don't care that it's true. So long as it's information, again, could be disinformation, so long as it's information that they can peddle, that they think would hurt the president, True or not true, they want to peddle it because that's what this whole game is about. It's not about giving the American people the truth. And it's no longer about Americans sticking together against foreign adversaries. No, no, if there's information that can hurt the other side, because this is a team sport, we'll peddle it, even if we're doing the business of Vladimir Putin. This is yet another allegation, as you well know, Congressman, of Russian interference in U.S. elections. How concerned are you about further meddling and is the U.S. prepared? Well, look, I think the question now we have to ask ourselves is what other information that James Comer and company are feeding to the American people are coming either from the Russians or from the Chinese? Other stuff, right, that you just saw Jim Jordan in that previous package talk about. I'll add other information. Has any of that come from an informant who knowingly or unknowingly got that from a Chinese foreign agent or from Russian intelligence? We don't know. So now you have to take everything they're saying as if that information has come from a foreign adversary. Congressman Jared Moskowitz of Florida, thank you so much for joining us.